Hey everyone and welcome back to the 31 days of Halloween. So I'm going to go ahead now and show you how I created this eye look. I already have my eye prime with the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer and I'm going to go in with this light shade from the Morphe 35P palette and I'm just going to be applying this all over my lid. Then I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Tuxedo and it's a matte black and I'm just going to be applying this to the outer corner of my eye. Another alternative is the NYX Cream Jumbo Pencils as well that you can use in black. Once the product is applied I really like to blend this out with my fingertip. I just find that it blends it out really nice and smooth. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this purple shade from the 35P palette and I'm just going to be applying it right on over the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Tuxedo and I'm just applying this with an angle brush and I'm really packing that product in. Throughout this whole video I will be using the 35P palette, there we go again, with another lighter shade of purple and I'm just going to be applying this into my crease and just blending the two colors together. I'm going to take the NYX Cosmetics Roll on Shimmer and I just feel the need that Barbie needs a little bit of sparkle. I really like this product. It applies so easily to my lower lid. You just roll it on. It's super pigmented and not only that, all the shimmer stays in one area. There's like no fallout so it's really easy to apply. Once that's done, I'm going to go back in with the 35P palette and I am taking the light shade and I'm just going to blend that all together. My brows are already done. I use the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in number two. Now I went ahead and I applied my Violet Voss Lashes in Black Magic and I also applied my foundation which is the YSL Full Coverage Foundation in Cool Almond which is BR30. Then I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Contour Palette and I'm just going to set my face. Now I'm going to go ahead with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette and I'm going to contour my cheeks with the e.l.f. Contour Brush which I absolutely love. Really good brush and really great price. I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose because I feel like my nose needs to be a little bit smaller, just like Barbie's. And there we go. Now I'm going to go in with Max Candy Yum Yum because you all know that Barbie has a bold, bright pink lipstick. And I absolutely love this lipstick. And there we go. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Do you guys remember that song? Because I sure do. And I even danced to it when I was a kid. Now I'm going to go in with the Body Shop Matte White Liner and I'm just going to start to draw where I kind of want my skin to be hanging and like just coming apart from my neck. Really you could go in and draw however you want to draw it. It's really easy. It's not really hard at all. So I'm just going to map it out where I want to and the reason why I'm moving my head around is just to see the motion of how my skin would look when my neck is moving. Once it's done, it should look like this. Now I'm going to go in with the black Skangaroo face paint and I'm just going to black out the areas where I don't want the skin to be showing. So when you look at me, it looks like you're looking through my neck. Once it's done, it should look like this. Now to give it a more realistic look, I am st going to start to blend it. I am going to go in with my YSL All Hours Full Coverage Foundation and I'm just taking a smudger brush and I'm applying the foundation to the brush and then I'm just going to be applying it to my pieces of hanging skin just to give it more of a realistic look and I'm really going to blend out the edges because I find by blending it out and just mixing it all in together it really gives the illusion that's like really your skin it looks so realistic so the more you blend the more better it will look I'm going to go ahead and take the red shade from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm just going to slightly outline the edges with the red because then that gives the illusion of blood and I'm just going to blend it all together.
So to finish this look, I went ahead and popped on my wig, the Barbie sweater I got from Ardennes. I think this look is super easy, super fun, and really inexpensive. I love my severed head Barbie just like I love my headless Barbie doll. If you guys enjoy Halloween videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and we will see you in tomorrow's. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!